Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know. Deja vu. Yeah, uh -huh. Hold on. We got two more incoming here somewhere. Where are they? There they are. Boom. Yeah, okay. Let's pause. We've got the... The Tame and Train update that just hit. And... While I wasn't planning on stopping the series and starting over because of the update, there were a lot of other things that they had improved in the game. A lot of quality of life things, a lot of you know, timings and, and quantities and just things under the hood that, that balanced the game out a lot better. And we're only... Well, we're... We were basically just in a, a a temporary hut still, so it seemed like if we were going to see the whole game and get the whole experience, including taming animals, eh, we were still close enough to the beginning to justify doing it. So I went ahead and recreated the same world, same group, though I did add a new feature that allows uh, the chance for two more possible... Um, survivors to join the camp later so a feature called big family or bigger family and this this update will allow us to we'll figure out how to tame some of these guys i don't know if you can tame these but uh well, you might be able to <laughs> put a leash on it fly it like a kite anyway it's the same map same drill but I know what I'm doing a little bit more now, so we should be able to buzz through it a lot faster. Let's, um, I'm going to just work on rebuilding basically what we had. And I don't know how much talking I'll be doing. Well, I'll probably be rambling along anyway, but I'm going to uh, buzz through this real quick. First of all, let's tell all these guys to stop fleeing and just hang around. There, calm down. Now, let's just set things up, cue things up. In fact, I'll... I'll do all that and I'll be right back. Okay, well, turns out I couldn't set up very much because we don't have the building materials yet, but I was able to get everything queued up for them to get to work. Um, Simon, you have the best run speed, so let's send you the furthest away and cut some blade grass. Otherwise, Paulette is on her way. Well, I'll grab you there. To bushes, Rita. Why don't you work on trees? Carter is having himself a little meltdown right now, but hopefully he'll uh, dive into stonework soon, and that'll give us all of our basic building materials. We've got lots of of uh, objects laying around, including a Carter, but uh, things that we didn't really notice the first time around because we were too busy just trying to figure out where to start. But I'm going to recreate kind of what we did last time. I still like the idea of the, the cabin up here. So we're just going to fall back behind by a couple of episodes. But I think in the long run, we're going to have a better experience by having more features available in the game, including ranching as well. They rearrange things. So the small drying rack is no longer part of production, to give you an example. Camp furniture no longer has leisure activities mixed in with it which felt really odd last time so there were enough little improvements of the game i think it was worth starting over and and just it won't be long before we catch back up to where we were so carter is putting in a stockpile which is good that gives get at least four of them done we have four kinds of materials coming in so carter why don't you go and give me some stone and soon we'll be able to hey we can do it right now okay so while you guys are doing your thing, I'm going to try to remember just how I did this. We have a campfire and a walkway. So you're probably right about there. Like that. And that's off by a little bit, but ah, that's fine. Then, so campfires, let me just verify that spacing is correct enough. Uh, stone. We have stone now. So, yeah, we can put that... Oh, I guess there is a space between the campfire and the the uh, stockpiles. It's hard to see it. Okay, so if you go there... If I could move the beds one space closer somehow, 
I could get by with one campfire in the middle. Problem is, it just it messes up all of the unless all the sleeping was in the middle, and then workbench space and storage. Okay, then ten, then uh, sleeping spot, sleeping spot, and then space. Yeah, there's two spaces that get next to each other. There's only one way to really do that. So yeah, let's put them kind of where they were before. Actually, I'll go one space bigger. Right there. So pause. I want to get uh, Carter working on the sleeping spots first. So at the very least, that's ready to go. Uh, ground. What was the other choice? I never really looked at that before. Sleeping spot. You are a bedroll. Ah, that uses up our uh, fabrics right off the bat. No, let's not do that. So move you like so. Two of you there. Two of you there. And if I click on you, it no longer shows me the, the influence, but I'm, I'm sure that's fine. So, Carter, when you're done, get to work on that one and those two. And that way, that's all done. So, Simon is already back. How much did you do out there? Probably not enough. Let's get you to do more of them. So, cut those and then walk over and cut those. I left one available to observe but I don't want to trigger that yet and I decided this time to at least try I don't know if it's going to how well I'm going to hold through with this but in fact I've already no I, that was on purpose but I'm trying to make my all my ones twos that way there is still one number left to fall back on if I really need to bump something up faster and I'm also going to play more with the idea of um, their interests. So this time, let's make Rita. Now, Rita, let's see, cooking? Yeah, Rita was interested in cooking. What was that last one? No research desk. Yeah. So Rita wanted to do the cooking. That gave her a bonus. So if we let her do that, we'll find other things for Paulette to do. Let her take over Simon's job, possibly, and do all the researching and uh, observing. Because Simon really wanted to do crafting so we kind of got everything backwards last time so let's just give that a try see what happens so simon's cutting paulette is doing a bunch of transporting rita is well was cutting wood and transporting it simon or a carter is putting us all together now so let's go ahead and get the uh, the rest of this put together this guy copy and i'm going to flip us around so i can see it from here and a couple of ours there. So we've got one walkway between. I think that works. We don't need any more room than that. And it keeps it close enough to where the, the light of the fire affects it. Hopefully in a positive way. So shift and let's pop four of you guys in. The building materials are already in place for the ones that are important. And we know we're going to have to do it. So let's just go ahead and put that one in. And let's put this one in. We'll do that. We'll leave that wall in between. That seemed to work pretty good. I don't think I can make that wall stay right now until I build something on it so that it forbids it. So I'm just going to wait. Then we'll, we'll put our other two in there later. And we had doubled up over here as well. But I think that's more than enough building materials to uh, try to pull off on day one. Um... I did set their sleep schedules, so I've gone through all of this in the background, got it all set up, and their schedule all ready to go. Now we know how to get a roof over our heads. Well, Carter, if you would just get back and work on that one. But, uh, yeah, don't get distracted. By, by dark, I want this done. In fact, I don't know... If we get it all done by 1900, Carter... Carter, let's go and do this now. You are you you're not gonna you're not gonna let me. <laughs> there, there. And let you get through that. And now can I do this one? No. No, no, you just refuse. Okay, well we might get that built tonight, we might not. I was just wondering if we got this part done by nineteen hundred, will we get the uh, the campfire uh, time? the very first day instead of the second day but carter's gonna go get 
parts instead of let's try one last time can you do that Ooh, changed your mind simon reached physical too it took him a long time to do that last time he never lifted a finger he just uh, sat there and researched so 1700 hours simon where are you right now you are out there transporting great so what we could use are more sticks so rita where are you at right now Rita is eating. So Rita, when you're done, take down the rest of these broadleaf bushes. And that's right. Now we need a table. So it did work out well last time. Cook stove, space, uh, storage, storage. No, just storage, space, table. That's right. So let's do that again. Furniture, large table, out of wood. Rotate you around, drop you in there. It automatically gives us the stools, which is great. And it flips them around. Wow. How many times did I do that manually in RimWorld? So, shelving units, you know, as long as they're done by the second day. We, we shouldn't see rain the very first day. They wouldn't do that to us, would they? Let's assign these guys before anything uh, gets going. Everyone grabs their, you know, makes up their own rules. But it worked out well last time. You're Simon's bed. You are... Uh, Paulette's bed. You are Rita's bed. And Carter, you go over there. Okay. So same old, same old. And table is in place. We can go ahead and set all these other ones. Production, cook stove. Land it over there. And the production workbench. Land it over here. Wood. Like that. And the research desk. Let's see, we had shelving in it there. Research was... Thinking about that. Let me get the shelving in first. Storage, shelving, wood. Rotate you around. You're right there. And then I think we did the research desk right there. Science. Uh, we'll do a wooden one. Like that. I'm pretty sure that's where that was. Then we had more shelves. Copy. And rotate around. You know, let's do all six this time. Hey, there's an interesting idea. Yeah. And we do need light, so copy. And we're only going to do one over here, because we need a place for the light. And there, I think that's the back. Put you there. Yeah, I got a feeling there would have been two. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Copy? No, it won't. So you are a cancel. And try you. Copy. There you are. I think there's two of them that go there. So rotate you around. Go from there to... Can I do two? I can't. Let's do three and see if I can delete one. Let's try that. Cancel. There we go. Now we can put the light in there. Is the light available this early? Uh, lighting, it is. Okay. So we want a light. I took the lights out of there and put the, the shroom lamp right there. So we'll hold off on that. We do want a light here. Uh, I can't see you. There you are. So shift, put one there. Put one. Uh, slide over. I think we'll go in the center here. So you're there. We know we want one over here. And where else? Temporarily. Right there. Yeah. It's gonna we're gonna have to research the mushrooms before we can get that as a light. Then maybe we'll do two of those lights instead of one. Allow a little bit easier access for uh, uh, recreation. Get there. They're plus 18s and go, ooh. So we are at 2300. They are getting ready to go to bed. We have shelter. We have beds. We have a roof. There you are. And looking good. And I'm, well, I don't know how far I'm into it. So I'm going to cut out quite a bit of this episode. But uh, yeah, different from the first run. Of course, the first run we spent looking around at our scenery. Let's do that. What are we starting off with this time? We've got some Olfen over here. Got our shroom 
mushrooms, or our shrooms, we'll call them. Um, let's observe you. And we don't need to observe them just yet. We do need to observe you, though. And may as well get these in right at the beginning. So, guys, go ahead and give me that one. And let's see. The leather. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, and do all of this. Closest corn and pumpkins. Let's do observe there and observe there. So Paulette's going to get the orders, but Simon could fill in and help out here at the beginning. He does have the skills, but it's a great time for Paulette to skill up and do a lot of the observing herself. So, yeah, that, that's a good call there. Um, ore is going to be important. So let's get you observed. And I've never thought of observing the stones because that's not a thing. Okay. We could observe the trees to plant our own, but that's not really necessary. And at this point, there's no need to observe the bushes. Um, we got those queued up. We know we're going to garden this whole area, so let's just queue up all the bushes in this area. Uh, cut, and you as well. So those are an obvious. What else? What else is in our neighborhood? So we've got quite a few of our dragonflies. There is a a pan cough that yeah, I'll just mark them. I don't know if that's the one we're going to be able to reach to observe, but I didn't think so last time either, and we nailed it. What else is out here? We need the blueberries. What were they called? These were the beef berries. These were just bush berries, I think they were called. So you, and is there a closer version? That's corn. So you, I think you're the closest. Observe. And these guys definitely observe you. Alright, is that covering everything? We didn't have a lot of need for the silicon yet, so I don't need to put him in the list this early. That's a little bit later on in the tech tree. Um, probably gets into electronics and circuit boards and what have you. Otherwise, actually, what was the closest... Now that I can see the mushrooms, let's observe you instead. So, I think it canceled that one. It did. Okay. So, that's the closest of you. So, up in here, uh, we've got some flatheads. And... Let's see if our bug nest is still in the same place. Yep, that's right up there. And now we kind of know how to take one of those down. So that's a little less of a mystery this time. And anybody joining this series brand new, if you uh, go back one playlist on my channel, you'll see the 10 episodes that I recorded to get this place set up originally. Then, then this update came out and decided to uh, rethink my life and my all my free time for the next week. <laughs> Anyway, sunset is starting to happen. I'm um, just going to wander around to see if there is some chickens. Our overgrown chickens there. They are on the prowl. Yep, they've already eaten. Yeah, they, they, they find something to kill every night. You as well. I don't think I'm going to queue up any butchering this early. Yeah, let's, we'll hold off on that. But everybody's waking up. They are waking up. And once we get all these built, we'll queue up some some meals. Uh, Rita's transporting. Simon is observing. And Paulette is observing. Okay, good. We'll have both of them observe this early in the game until we get the crafting bench done. What was at the beginning? Really nothing. There were bandages, and that was about all that we could craft, which means Simon will be free to observe as often as uh, as uh, we could use. Carter's taking a break. Um, how is everybody doing? So Carter's getting his relaxation up, Now he's going to go back to work, because I set relaxation for just one hour this time, the 7 o'clock hour, so they're all triggered. A cause for celebration. First camp, Simon. We put together a camp as quick as we could, considering the circumstances. We are not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the 
dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive tonight at 1900 hours. Yes, let's do that. All right, so we've got a celebration scheduled. Um, Paulette is good mood. Let's see, everybody's still in, in great shape. Yeah, so do we even... Well, I guess I won't argue with them just taking a walk and yeah, catching up with, with breakfast and what have you. You guys do what you need. Paulette is doing fine. She'll hopefully break for dinner on her own. We'll see. For her, that's basically her, her ones or two. Yep, she's going to break on her own. Okay. If I had assigned her to do it by right-clicking, then I think she would have gone into starvation to try and finish the order, which is kind of annoying, but I, I guess I get it. You know, if it's something that's dire important, you don't want to have to keep babysitting to make them do it. But also, you know, you've also got to babysit them to make sure they don't die out there. <laughs> Rita's transporting what? Oh, good. More of our hay. Though we do have plenty of that. Is there anything else at the crash site? No, it looks like we've got everything picked up over here. Okay, let's mark you for scavenge. And for that matter, let's mark you for scavenge. See if we can get something important out of there. Um, what have we got built so far? Do we have a cook stove? We do not. Carter's eating. And... Hmm... Well, squash-like plants. So that gives us vegetable soup. I was wondering if we want to get the corn observed first. In fact, let's do that. Uh, Simon, you are in great shape. Let's go for corn for the rest of the day. Observe this one. Uh, right there. And that way we can get porridge going early. Because we're about to get the, uh, the stove built. Otherwise, I've got more shelving I can be setting up. Uh, eventually the sewing, the tailor bench will go there. But let's set up shelving, which was just the inside. For that matter, let's see here. Carter reached construction four. Wish there was a better place to put the torch. I guess I could put this kind of a torch out. Camping torch. Let's put that there. Let's do that. You pull in here. You cancel. Let's go ahead and extend this right now so I can put the, uh, the longer shelf units in and be done with that. So copy you, flip you around. Set you, make sure that looks right, there and there. All right, so now when I set these shelves in, I can do all of it at once. Turn you back on, storage, shelves, wood, and I need to also set what goes on these shelves, but you're going to go from there out to there, and then rotate you again. There you are, there, out to there. I think that's right. Yeah, I'm getting a little better at that. <laughs> Last time I fought it and fought it. Okay, so are the torches built? They're not. Carter, oh, you're constructing torch. Oh, you're constructing that torch. Okay, when you're done, if you could get that one built, and it said three of them, so I'm hoping it's all those two. Once we get something solid on these walls I can put these last structures up and the walls will remain in place and that'll give us something to put uh, lighting on all right so you are lighting this guy and you're lighting it during the day well I guess it automatically lights when you build it okay otherwise we can we can extinguish can you handle the torch let's save that fuel okay now if I turn it back on light waiting to be lighted hmm well we'll see how far up the chain of command handling is now you're handling the torch okay i don't remember the torches running during the day after they had been refueled once maybe they did maybe that's why they were constantly having to add more fuel <laughs> So what's happening out here? Simon is working on the corn. Paulette is working on the pumpkins, our, our earthy names. And we have a stove. Quick recipes, nothing. 
and tasty recipes and nothing because we haven't researched anything yet but we are getting things built so these shelves here these shelves here that doesn't cover all of them does it so are we not building them as units of six if I click on this I get all six I click on let me wait till he builds the last one now we're getting six at a time good so you are going to be raw food and cooked meals yep I think so so let's say deselect all you're gonna be these guys and later I wonder if they got rid of putting tea and coffee in other that was annoying last time so we'll not say other yet we'll let that go here so all of these guys are going to be uh, food based so that is you as well so you copy you paste do we have torches we have torches okay so let's put two more of these in and we're done with our our temporary structure our really uh, complicated and, and well thought out temporary structure you're going there and you're going there okay so we have the workbench now craft nothing we can craft yet because we're still discovering things so Carter when you're done you're probably gonna go to work on cutting any more trees out here that are 30s there probably are I just gotta hunt for them all there's this whole center is what you there cut so there's plenty in there to cut we've got more bushes queued up and hey we've got a lot of hay in stock that's fine Rita's transporting I wish I could get Simon to do that he can walk faster but he's also got a much faster observe skill and research skill uh, Carter's building those you were clear all you were medicines I don't think it's anything else that works with research so you were just kind of an overflow for cooked meals so let's take off the cooked meals on you and so we just have them on this group and this group and then raw foods everywhere else yeah I think that works and we also had an overflow of of uh, shelves over here but let's not build those yet we're not going to have that much in the way of raw food so let's keep it concentrated over here since I can't prioritize go to this shelf first and then overflow goes over there so I think that might be better you guys which yeah I'll wait until you're completely done so that the orders will hit every shelf in that group so you're done you're done you're done so that means that all of these can be deselect all and just construction materials same with you and then you are done so you're going to deselect all and you're going to be raw fabrics and crafting sort of things and I think that works with electronics too and actually you're all close enough now we'll separate these out so actually no raw fabrics there you're going to have the raw fabrics because you're going to have the sewing bench uh, desk over here sewing bench so you're going to be more crafting oriented you're going to be more um of the the sewing so that means you're going to be apparel you're going to be weapons are crafted and medicines are over there i did i didn't do that right i didn't just talk about it not do it yeah you are medicines Nighttime is coming again. Wow. So let's pause. They're about to start uh, their party, and I want to make sure they actually get here to do it. Last time Carter didn't, and he didn't get the bonus for it. But what else goes in here? Electronic components. I guess if we discover any, they're, they're not really a crafting item in the sense that we're not going to be able to craft with them. I think all that happens on a soldering bench, which happens in a different place entirely. Oh, actually, that might happen here maybe the soldering desk will go here eh, we'll see so you guys are all one group and we have a peril so there's anything we missed cook meals we got those so temporarily we'll put those there we got crafting we got a peril over here weapons over here medicines and others i think we're covered and everything's being taken out of these and put on those shelves carter is done celebration at so we're so close to finishing we will let paulette finish hers 
But I will pull Simon in when we hit 1900. There we go. Oh, Buttermelon. Let's go ahead and read that one more time, just in case new folks have, have tuned in and didn't see it the first time. This local vine plant gives large edible fruits which have tough peel. It reminds me of a pumpkin and a melon, so I will call them Buttermelon. Ripe buttermelons can be harvested and cooked. They might have some other good uses too. So now we can do harvesting and planting. And... I guess while they're celebrating, we'll start thinking about our first uh, gardens. Be a good, good way to finish this day. <laughs> so I think I'm going to run this episode long, longer than the the previous episodes. So maybe maybe an hour and a half or so. Though I've got to make a guess on that. As far as you are so close to being done, I'm going to let you finish. But everybody else, read us transporting. Um, but long episode this time and maybe next time and see how close we can get to catching up in the first two or three episodes to where we were at the end of the uh, the first go around so you guys are celebrating and you're handling a campfire but you'll be celebrating in a moment rita's going to celebrate as soon as she can get herself back here oh you are still collecting well you're close and actually it's not that important this time especially for rita she's got a permanent plus nine grain cob but they've also got their plus 50 stacked in there, and they survived the crash, so a plus 25. So it's not going to harm them not to have it, but it would be nice to see them all here. So we'll see how long they go at this. What time did I tell them to go to bed? 2300. Let's make that an anything. If they're tired, they're going to go to bed on their own anyway. So five hours of mandatory sleep. Otherwise, you guys think for yourselves. And... We'll see how well that works. <laughs> um, I said grain cob, so let's get in where you guys can see what's happening in here. While I, never mind, read this. New discovery, a good discovery. The seeds of the tall leafy plant clusters together in a cob and seem edible. Thus, I'm going to call it grain cob. It will be useful in many ways. Cooked, pressed into oil, distilled into sweet syrup. We never did that last time. Distilled into sweet syrup or moonshine. Ah, even used in the production of antibiotics. Such a simple thing yet so vital for survival. I think that's their clue in saying plant lots of it. So harvesting of grain, planting of grain are opened up to us. So you guys celebrating survival, all three are argued with Paulette about the crash's cause. So, Carter, you're just going to get on everybody's nerves again, aren't you? Yep. Rita, yeah, you're on your way. Yep, you're coming. 20 hundred hours. They'll go probably till midnight. That would be my guess. So she'll still get in on this somewhat. Um, gardening. So we now can farm grain cob and butter buttermelon. Okay. Um, we'll speed Rita in here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> and get her a chance to join everyone. Carter is still celebrating. They haven't left yet. Good. They just have nowhere to sit. Ah. Yeah, that's right. So furniture, tape, no. Uh, furniture, chairs. That worked pretty well last time. I wonder if we could do it any differently, though. If we put them back to back... They'd be near the fire, but they wouldn't be facing each other. But turning them this way, would they be... I'm not sure if that would be in the walkway or not, and in the way. I don't know. We'll experiment. Let's pop you in there, and you in there, and let's just see what happens if we do this. See if they can still walk behind them and around them, or that's going to cause problems and they're constantly circling around camp to get in or what they're doing then we'll rearrange them but celebrating survival Rita Rita can you just you're not I guess you weren't here at the beginning to hmm yeah so I guess you missed out on it oh well if you want to continue the back breaking work and 
And loading all these in. All right, but yeah, you missed out on it. Sorry about that. Carter, you got a celebrated the camp plus 20. Rita did not. But she's still in great shape. She's going to take a walk in her bed. <laughs> okay, farming. Over here seems like a great place. Um, we have a lot. In fact, let's just... Let's just set that to harvest. We did this really late last time. Let's harvest you guys. And we didn't plant them last time until the till much later because we had so many around. Um, where around are they now? They're way over there. And they are way over here. We'll go ahead and set those. Let's do that again. Set you guys to harvest. And... Yeah, I said to harvest, right? Not to cut? Why did that pop up? Because the harvest is no longer an option. Yeah, you're set to harvest. Okay. And we'll go ahead and set these to harvest over here. Yeah, I think so. So orders, harvest, what will harvest. Just those. And let's get all this grain cob harvested. Right there, right there. So that puts uh, Rita quite busy right at the beginning. Uh, we need the smoke leaf figured out. So let's go ahead and set you to observe as well, though you're not as important. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll min-max on what they're going to be observing. Simon went back to the one that I, uh, I took him away from, but he's going to go to sleep. Okay. Now, last time we had put a big drying rack in here. And we couldn't get them to leave raw, raw meat for cooking because it just kept going into the drying rack. Same thing with the raw smoke leaves. The tea needed the raw, but the pipe needed the dried. So let's try a different tactic this time. Um, that's under ranching now. So a small drying rack instead of the big one. And two of them... Um, yeah, we can do that and that. We'll set one for meat and leather. We'll set one for tobacco. And if there is a fourth choice that comes up. And that way we'll get hopefully a little bit of each coming in. Instead of everything going in to be dried. So gardens, let's go ahead and set something up. Last time I went for close. And with a good rain, that was fine. That added 20% once it rained. So let's do that again. I think that's okay. So because right here you'd get 100%. Here you'd get 80%. But once, which I don't think has anything to do with quantity. I'm guessing it has to do with growth speed. I'm not sure. But that makes sense to me. But I'm going to go with the closer option one more time. And... A fairly significant crop. So let's put you in there. Our significant size, I meant to say. And let's add another one in. 78. Let's see, where is that other perimeter? It looks like it's right there. So we go as far as right there. Good. That's a good size for that one. What else do we have? We have the buttermelons. Um... Sure. Let's go ahead and do you as well. Now, getting into the red drops it down considerably. So let's stop... I guess about the same. So right there. We got some red in there, but we got some dark green in there too, so that evened it out. Okay, so there's our first two gardens. Everyone's still sleeping. Um, 7 a.m. is their mandatory go have fun time yeah so and what does that give us as far as sleep quantity if we do that rest he's almost there paulette went to bed late i had to tell her to go to bed everybody else is going to be fine fine enough they'll be in around 90 90 percent and missed you guys i missed why didn't that work orders harvest there we go some of them will some of well your harvest oh there must be there's a there's both in there, harvestable and not harvestable. That's why it didn't default to all of them. Ah, 
That's what I missed. Okay. So you two? Nope, you're not you're not growing up enough yet. How about you? Nope. So that is plenty of work. Oh, I see three more. You guys right there, harvest. The ones in the middle. Oh, there's more of them. Nope, you're not ready yet. What is the red? The red is nothing. And we do want our mushrooms soon. You're getting pumpkins to eat. We still have emergency rations, but you would prefer to eat pumpkins. Interesting. So I wonder if the the fruit does give a bonus that we don't know about. Because as far as I know, there was no plus to happiness with those. You're observing these. Yeah, that's what I was going to min-max. Let's not do that yet. Um, we need fruit before we can make use of these in order to make the fruit cake. So let's get Paulette. Let's see here. Paulette, except for hunger, you're in good shape. Let's get you working on these guys. So observe those. And Simon, you are going to get those. What else is slightly more important? Let's get our healing bomb figured out. So food-wise, ah, it's a long walk back. Okay, so you'll get the order. In fact, can I? How about I just tell you to? Can you come over here and harvest? There's nothing about eating. Okay, so I can't make you eat buttermelon. I can just make you eat uh, rations wherever those are at right now. Here you are. Why don't you eat that? And Paulette, same thing. Go to the next shelf. Ah, if they're not on different shelves only one can operate a shelf at a time so Paulette why don't you come over here and just Paulette sit and wait your chance to get to the shelf so Rita because she can harvest she went for the the fruit the one for the uh, the, the buttermelons I don't know but now Paulette can get access to the shelf there we go so, you two are going long distance. That's why I'm min-maxing them to force them to get some food in them. So, Sa Simon, when you're done, I want you over here. There's... No, that's not one. Where was our closest... Where did I set up the observe? There you are. You're going to do this one next. And Paulette, when you're done, you're going to do this one next. Okay, so Rita is harvesting. Good. Fill our shelves. Lost harvest, 10. Because these must be degrading out in the field all on their own. And it was... Oh. Or, because this guy's eating them. Rita, come harvest these first. And chase him out of there. He's eating our harvest. He can eat grass. There goes Paulette. Simon's up there. Good, we chased him away. All right. So, Carter, what you doing? You're going to go get some pumpkins to eat. Now, can I tell you to do that? Because I couldn't tell Simon. Carter. Cut buttermelon, harvest it, cancel it, and harvest. So, I can't tell you to eat off of a bush. Hmm. Didn't know that. And you're a little peeved because we took away your food, aren't you? Yeah, you just settle down over there. Yeah, you'll exact your revenge on us later. I'm pretty sure you will. Unless, uh, unless these guys get you first. Where are they nesting at? They're over here. Got, oh, no. I thought that was more of them. Kind of looked like them there. So we've got four of you guys over here. And some flatheads. We never got back around here. What's going on in this area? We've got... Now... Don't have a lot of animals right now. Oh, we got these guys hiding in here. Last time we had a lot more of the, the big deadly chickens. What was that? Must have been you. What kind of noise do you make? Oh, you're just busy eating right now. Okay. 
And we've got our... That's right, my run speed is a lot faster now. But we've got our... Our uh, Badlands. Yeah. <laughs> and... So you guys are all busy doing things. Carter is transporting because somehow that is f up further in his uh, list of to-dos. Let's get Carter cutting trees. Carter, how are you doing? You're in great shape. All right, when you're done with that, you are going to cut and cut and cut and any more logs on the ground. Yeah, you. If I can get in there. Fallen. And I think that is it. So you work on that. We know we're going to need a lot of wood. So may as well just get him in there and get it going right at the beginning. Um, what was I just thinking of doing? I don't remember. Yeah. Thoughts enter my mind and then I see something. <laughs> and thoughts leave my mind. <laughs> there was something to go check out while they were doing all their things. Hmm. I was over here when I thought of it. Ah, the rocks. So if you've noticed the new thumbnail for this series, that is kind of over here somewhere. Let me think about that. It was at sunrise. And it was right in here, I think. Somewhere in here. The sun was just coming up. Everything was was a the sun was coming up that's right it was over here i don't know i'll have to look at it again myself but the sun was coming up everything was really harsh in the, in the colors of the bright oranges and everything and it was just a great shot so i got into the game this morning before i went to work and just looked around at the, all the new choices and made the decision yeah we need to start over and thought i would go ahead and get that thumbnail while i was at it um, so Carter's busy. What is that? What if I remain stranded here forever? So Rita is doing some, some doomsday uh, talk right now. But she is doing her favorite pastime, or she was. Um, anybody else affected by that? No. So no negatives. Ate raw food. Ah, well there's the answer to that. There is no positives to eating buttermelon. But we are transporting the what we just harvested are there any other goods just dropped on the ground that need transporting uh right there so we could transport those and too bad rita is not closer if i had realized that i could have walked her over to grab that um but well we'll see rita you are no risk of meltdown and you're in fine shape let's have you come out after that and haul the grain and maybe You'll be able to track far enough to get all of that, too. Is that more? That is not. Looks like it, though. That and that. Sure does. So, Carter, how you doing? Wow, you took those down fast. Nice. When you're done, let's just throw that one in, too. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, we know eventually this whole run right here is going to be available, but we're not quite grown yet. We're just taking this out when we stopped the series last time. And we're going to want to take a bunch of these out. In fact, I can go ahead and queue up all the 30s right now. Uh, not many of them in there. Hearing the wind blowing. Okay. And we're going to want to clear this pathway. But you're not 30s yet either. So I'll let you guys grow up a few more days. Yeah. Um would be nice to take some of these out. Now, Rita didn't go directly into planting because harvest is in front of planting. We ran into that before. Yeah, let's just go ahead and harvest these out. I think that's probably a good idea. You're harvesting over there. So did you bring any of these in? You, you missed these. You came and got just the one. Didn't even get the one? I think you ignored me completely. <laughs> they tend to do that. Okay, fine. That's that's okay. I, my pride is my my pride can handle it. Paulette is nineteen hundred. I think she can finish that in time. And how you doing, Simon? You are there. So when you're done, hey, dude, 
How about on your way back, Simon, you are going to transport without me even asking you. I'm impressed. Simon, okay, you got some points there. Rita's bringing that back, you're doing that, and you are handling. Great, so let's read about glitter caps. I have never seen mushrooms like these before, so I gave them the original name of glitter cap. They are quite poisonous, but lose most of their toxicity when they mature and start glowing. Ah, I think I read growing last time. I don't remember that. But when they start glowing, they're no longer as toxic. I think that they will make a decent substitute for vegetables if gathered and cooked when fully matured. However, they are still slightly poisonous if consumed raw. Most importantly, they seem to have some medicinal properties and could be ground to make a simple healing balm. So we've unlocked harvesting, planting, crafting of balm, and construction of torches, which I think we should be doing here real soon. In fact, let's just make that a thing. And let's be sure to watch how they maneuver around these uh, these benches this time. Last time I spread them out, and they have less chance to sit around and talk. So hopefully this works. But leisure. Oh, we need to harvest our first one. Okay. Um, there's nobody up there to do that, so we'll make that a, a chore for tomorrow. Okay. So Rita is transporting, bringing some back. Do we leave any others out here? No, it looks like you got back everything that you worked on. Paula is almost finished. We're at 20 hundred. She'll be done around 21. Um, I'm not getting any warnings of meltdowns, but we still have the plus 50 and maybe even the plus 25 to our names. Plus 20s. So we're still, we're still pretty uh, happy and content with our lives at the moment. I would be too. Boy, if I had started off with a uh, an emergency shelter like this, we're in good shape. But shelves are filling up, and hey, we can fruit bush. We can get some uh, some cooking done. Let's read the fr fruit bush. Peculiar bush gives small sweet fruits. I'm sure they could be eaten safely, as they are, as they are, or used in cooking. That's kind of a awkward wording there um maybe even in winemaking so harvesting and planting but we would need to research the winemaking that's where i've got this already set up to go hmm interesting so paulette can't get to doing any research because she's got all the observing to do all right let's make that adjustment right now so paulette you are going to be our main researcher Let's set observe. So here's where we need to be able to, to drop back into a one because I can't make this a three or it'll never happen because there's so many other threes. I can make all those fours. Okay, we'll, we'll work with that. All right, so Paulette is going to then go into research next. And what was I just about to do? Cooking. Is there still time? We're on anything. Out of curiosity, if I leave it paused, Let's get some recipes going and see if it's possible for Rita to get some cooking done first thing or immediately. So maybe we can have some porridge for breakfast tomorrow instead of pumpkins and get negative sixes. Okay, let's give us... Last time we did fours on everything. Let's throw in one extra until we have five. Okay, and let's see, what was the other one? A veggie soup, but we're not going to use... We'll have to remember to take off the glitter caps when that shows up. We give us five veggie soups until we have everything we need for those. And that is all there. We don't have any... We do have buttermelon pie now. Yes, please, until we have... Eh, we'll do, or let's work with fives. One more than what we have. And that way, if we don't get time to cook for a while, maybe we'll still be able to pull something off. Okay. So with that going on, Rita's going to transport, and we'll see if she drops immediately into cooking. How did that work? You're getting something to eat. Okay. Um, you can hold off for just a little bit yet. You're in a decent mood. Let's see the cooking. Give me some grain porridge 
for breakfast tomorrow. Let's see how that works. Plus 18 because you like cooking. That's what we missed out on last time. All those little pluses. Carter didn't have anything that he truly enjoyed, right? No, he doesn't have any interests. Paulette was interested in healing, which is not going to happen very often. Simon was interested in crafting, and Rita was interested in cooking. Okay. So Paulette is on her way in, getting pumpkins to eat. Pump, uh, Paulette, why don't you go ahead and grab an emergency meal instead? I'm guessing that Carter or somebody was using it when she queued up. So she... Wait a minute. Did you drop that on the ground? You did. So... Holly's in, and then grab an emergency meal right there. And you're unrelaxed, but that's okay because you enjoy what you're doing. Partial fail. Okay, what does that mean? She's putting two away, so apparently she tried to make more than two. She's transporting two of them. And she took one, and she's going to eat. Okay. So one person is going to get some porridge tomorrow morning. Uh, you're transporting some more wood. And we know we're going to need that wood up here eventually. I should probably do that one now. We know it's going to be a thing. Yeah, let's do that. So storage right there. Let's... Uh, we'll do something like that. You guys are going to be nothing but wood. And let's turn wood off of... Where am I? Right there. If I double-click, doesn't work. So, no wood. And over here, no wood. And Carter, if you're willing to, can you come up and just construct these instead? Yeah, I'll get that one done. I don't know if they'll necessarily haul the wood out of here. Insufficient storage space. Simon was trying to haul wood. I see. And Simon's fallback is that to the tube plants because we still don't have any cotton. Though we could make slop. What is slop? Mix slop from any raw food. I take it this is animal feed. Hmm, animal fats. Oh, we make the animal fats here? Okay, and healing balm. Maybe that was there last time, I just never dealt with it. Because we didn't really do any hunting, much of it, last time. Okay, so that's new. So our drying racks are about the only thing that we know of so far in regard to the new Taman and train update except that we do have in here animal training that one's that's new to the game with the proper treat most animals could be tamed tamed animals would require food medicine maybe even a place to sleep some can have babies others would be ideal for camp protection and we'll and we will be happy to have them all so we've got animal sheds uh, feeders, sleeping spots, and later there will be weaponsmithing, and out of that weaponsmithing comes a tranquilizer gun version of the crossbow. Um, I've queued these up. No, these are all new that have just shown up. Okay. Cereal coffee was pretty important. But I did queue up tailoring. Last time, we only got to the middle of summer last series and the clothing had already half worn out so tailoring does need to be pushed up there a little bit you guys can be running in the background the spears on us was also important lightning is going to happen sooner than later so we need to get some lightning rods up and didn't mean to cue you i don't need spaceship deconstruction so what goes in there instead we could do animal taming. We could do antibiotics. If we get injured, we could get an infection. We'd better get that one going. I'm not going to make the animals a major... Um, I'm just realizing we're one in the morning and only two people are sleeping. So, Simon, let's think about 
So, hmm. You do have sleeping as an order schedule. Oh, at one in the morning. Because I didn't want to disrupt the... Let's put sleep back in here. Right there. I didn't want to disrupt the campfire time, but it stopped before then anyway. Um, so that's Simon. And who else is Paulette? You are there. It is Carter. And he's on his way in. Okay. So Simon is going to eat. Um, all right. I guess you won't have to eat tomorrow morning, so it'll be a wash. Okay. Um, was I in the middle of a sentence when all that happened? Probably. Uh, taming. I don't want to make taming a high priority at the beginning of the game. We'll go ahead and continue what we were doing until we get back to, oh, maybe take out that nest and get our first couple rooms built kind of a thing, just like we were before. Then we'll see about it, unless something else happens. There are dogs on the planet now, which seems odd until you realize just how many of these wrecks, uh, old spacecraft that have crash landed, just sitting around all over this planet. So apparently others have crash landed here too, and other survivors are kind of scattered somewhere out there that we're going to find with our hot air balloon. And it's very possible that among those survivors were dogs. So there are three breeds that we're going to discover. I don't know what they are. Um, I've seen pictures, but uh, I'm at this point only guessing what I remember I saw. So no point in even saying. But um, it's possible something like that could wander into camp. So we do want to have the... What do they call it? Taming animals. Oh, tamed animals, but animal taming researched, well, fairly soon, just in case. Now, what was that? Tamed animals. So a list of our pets. Okay. So is there anything else here that is new? Just in case. Everything there is the same. Meat lure. Hmm. You would think even tamed animals might go after a meat lure set over a trap. So I don't know that that's wise but we'll see farming oh we've got these guys going now okay we can do this while we're uh, waiting so fruit bushes we've got a lot of those already but we had thought about putting them here at one time let's go ahead and make that happen so you guys kind of across there sure and let's take you out one more it's a bunch of blueberries right out in front of the cabin i like that so let's we'll make that happen this time and our glitter caps we're starting to get into glitter cap country over here there's that one there's that one so if i go one space in and from right there pull you down like that can i go a little wider yeah let's do a 10 by 6 in glitter caps and that means we got to speed this up a little bit. So, Carter, you, this morning, need to get your relaxation and I'll leave you alone. But then I might have you come over and take care of that. <clears throat> so, we did see that these guys will eat the corn wild out there. I wonder if they, since they're near, they're closer to us this time, will get into our our uh, gardens and start munching on them which means we may have to uh, set some of them for hunting and kind of snipe them out did we all show up with uh... oh i just realized something pause um i didn't set this for random characters this time because i wanted our original four i don't remember which rule that is or what that's called but it gave you random characters with that matched the seed, but with the update, they no longer match the seed Noble Rambler. The random characters automatically came with sniper rifles. We're weaponless. Oh, change everything. Wow. Okay, research just became a lot more important. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so you're out, you're out. Weaponsmithing happens immediately. Okay. Weaponsmithing. 
antibiotics, that's, that's going to be important. Uh, we could get bit while we're pounding on these scarabs, scarabi with our fists. Yeah, wow. And we're going to need... Well, we'll pop that in because there's only three hours. Then we'll get tailoring back in. And metal refinement gave us access to so much. That's why I had stuck it in first. But yeah, weaponsmithing is a thing. Okay, so Simon, your first priority is going to be to make us bow and arrows as fast as you can. Wow. Okay, a little different playthrough this time. We were spoiled last time. Started the game with, uh, with railgun snipers. Four of them. Wow. Okay. So defenses are probably going to be a little bit more important this time. Yeah. Which means we need to get the building basics up soon. So we can build an elevated platform so we can get up there. Except for the winged ones, they can't really get to us. And we can at least be shooting down at them. Yeah. Got to rethink our whole strategy this time. Okay, well, we started off with a nice advantage of all of these, you know, the structures and everything figured out. So I guess that balances out our disadvantage of not even having spears yet. Okay, well, what's everybody doing? Our 7 o'clock uh, hour is done. Paulette is researching. Uh, Simon is observing two plants. Is there anything else for Simon to observe first? Um, we do have berries now, so, okay, that's probably quite important. We don't have the weaponsmithing done, so Rita, or Paulette, that is your first job. Rita was doing what? You're still taking a break and getting your, uh, your happiness up. Carter is transporting what? Is he hauling all the logs up there? He really is. At least he's doing 130 at a time. Okay, if that's... Actually, I'm going to have you instead... Well, in addition to... Let's go ahead and cut these. Cut these and cut these. Alright, so we'll get those in stock. That's what, we're, what we have the least of right now. Um, so, researching weaponry. Cooking meals. And eventually making weapons and pretty much doing all of the heavy labor um, actually I could have somebody starting to do some scavenging there is valuable uh, materials in these including possibly some uh, railgun snipers yeah partial fail again Rita's she loves cooking but she's still figuring out how to do it and okay so now that we have meals Let's have you instead. Instead, where are they at? Paulette, where did you put our meals? They've got it. Maybe they're in that space. No. They're in that one? No. This one. Where are... Oh, reserved by Carter. I see. Carter, you just draft and come down here. And that should free that up so that Rita, who's already here, uh, Rita, undraft. Let's try that again. Carter, draft. Come down here. Rita has to get out of her drafting mode. Eat porridge, currently unavailable. Okay, you're drafted. You're no longer drafted. Now I want you to eat some grain porridge. And then Carter, as soon as you... As Rita is done with that shelf, this will be a lot easier later when not everything is on a single shelf. But right now, I've got to kind of, you know, make that work. But, okay. Carter, instead of what I had you doing before, let's have you scavenge. There is a chance we could get some weapons out of that. Let's take the chance. Simon, by the time you get done with that... Now, this is a 12-hour ordeal to get weaponsmithing going. We do have the bench ready for it, though. Though, well, I can't even look to see what it takes. 
scrap metal made the spears. I don't know what makes the crossbows. That might be ore. Um, alloy. It's possible. We'll see. Carter is tapping gently on the side, searching for what's inside there. <laughs> Hopefully that animation improves later. I want to see them ripping panels off this thing and uh, getting inside there, tearing I-beams off of this. With the furnace converting one for one scrap metal to alloy bars or you know, rods, that scrap metal, I... I I was picturing it was just pieces of sheet metal, but apparently it's more like, you know, I-beams. It's some significant pieces. So it'd be nice to see that animated. Anyway, uh, who is eating that? That is Simon. Simon, out of curiosity. No, that's all there is. We are out of meals. Oh, there you are. Grab that instead. And what I was about to do and, and didn't, Let's tell everybody, cooked meals, you are no longer able to eat emergency rations. I think that is fair. Let's save the emergency rations for, you know, an emergency. Simon, there. And Rita is going, she's getting better at it. What was the, the little thing that was just there? Uh, here? You were angered by Simon. Mm -hmm. But she's going to be getting better at cooking. So we're going to be seeing a lot more meals set out there and available. Uh, scavenge a pulse rifle. And we discovered heptagonias. Oh, so much going on. Okay, a pulse rifle. Advanced short-ranged weapon. Emits a pulse wave which slows down or stuns all the hostiles in their way. So it doesn't actually harm them, but it slows them down for the others to shoot them and get a shot off before they get bit. Okay. So, or later on with our uh, automatic weaponry attacking them and make them you know, just kind of stunned and, and uh, sitting there waiting for their demise. Um... One of the improvements to the game with this update, uh, I read that the pulse rifle no longer does area damage. Apparently it was damaging the surroundings, your walls and what have you, while they were using it. So there are a lot of those sort of improvements that came along with this update that made me decide I probably do want to uh, make sure that's included in this series. So... Anyway, I'm starting to notice my voice is starting to get rougher and fade. So when we finish this day, I think that will be a first episode. Um, Carter, will you? You will not. So I want you to go back to scavenging. But let's see what you want to do on your own here. So weapons go up on the shelves over here. That's great. And you are going to transport. Let's go back and scavenge one more time. Anybody else could do some scavenging. Uh, Simon, you could. You are doing what at the moment? You are, hell, well, you're giving us, yeah, let's, let's take advantage of your, uh, of your observation skills while we can. That'll probably be the last thing that you observe, or you may only get halfway through it. Because once Paulette is done, and has the weapons, uh, smithing figured out, then Simon is going to be non-stop making weapons for us for a while. And hopefully we can afford some choices. The bow and arrows are a lot slower. But it makes sense that the... Uh, you guys are just eating all of our stuffs, aren't you? That the crossbows would take a, a higher end of, of uh, materials. Um, let's see if we can harvest some more of this. Uh, no, we're only... Oh. There we are. Harvest. And any more of them around you... Uh, harvest those. How about you guys? Let's grain cobs and harvest those. Okay. Any more? There's some over here. That's right. We've got to read Heptagonias. Okay. You harvest. So that gives Rita something to do. Though harvesting all these individual ones is kind of a pain. We'll see how she handles that. And she's busy making foods anyway. But what do we have? Veggie soup, simple meal 
made of boiled vegetables. She reached cooking, too. Good. That's going to help out a lot. Heptagonius. The strange plant may be a rare thing native to this world. It is named Heptagonia because of its distinctive shape. Seven-sided, right? It produces a sweet syrup which can be harvested and used for cooking. I wouldn't say no to drinking it raw, either. It seems to be safe. So harvesting sweet syrup and now he mentions I wouldn't say no to drinking it raw yet when we tried to drink it last time right off the shelf it didn't happen so not sure what that was about but so you are still making foods and let's just let you do that once you get all the cooking done then we'll get out and get some plantings done maybe or harvestings or yeah that's going to be kind of tough. Paulette may be swapping out with Rita here and there, just kind of manually making that happen. But let's order and harvest a bunch of these. And because there's so much harvesting going on... Well, okay, we can add this one group to it. And harvest this group there. Okay, I guess I got it the first time. All right, so that's all set for harvest. We do need to get the planting done. Can you harvest? You can too. And so we get all the local stuff harvested. That's a little far away. You guys are... Now you're still set for cut. So we do have that researched. Yeah, and you do have harvest there. Let me do that again. Let's do it this way. Harvest. So if I do that, now you're set to harvest. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. Not go any further. Okay, and that obviously will happen tomorrow. So one more time, Paulette is just finishing her work. Rita is still making foods. Simon is back over here. And Carter, what you doing? You are hauling more logs, waiting for the inevitable log cabin to be set up here again. Perfect. Otherwise, you're going to go... What are you going to do? I didn't read that. Transporting. Yeah, let's do that. So, transporting means we've got two groups of you out here. Actually, three? Was there another one? There were 20 sitting off to the side, or did he get eaten? Numbers are not showing up. I guess I'm not close enough. Weaponsmithing. Pause. So, 25 and 30. Any more numbers showing up in here? Would love to get you to haul all of those home, but doesn't look like it. Okay. And hopefully I didn't make too many people nauseous there. Weaponsmithing, make a weapon. Bows, crossbows, and spears come to mind. Workbenches have all the necessary tools. Let's see some of that before this episode ends. So that is here. Um, first of all, crafting. Slop. So we're not getting into that yet. And we haven't the ability to make bandages yet. We do have first aid kits, so we're fine for now. Weapon, or craft weapons. So spear is all we've got right now because we've got scrap metal and wood. Short bow. So that means we do need some wood down here nearby. Don't need it all hauled away, which it has been. Let's just grab this one. Let's see. This one right there and we'll fix that you are now nothing but wood okay so back to where i was craft weapons spear um so wood and scrap metal short bow needs some kind of cloth or leather and then 20 sticks okay crossbow needs alloy and wood okay so at the very least we're going to get four spears going right now and do we get a fifth one to have one on the shelf to wear out? Let's do a fifth one, since I doubt we're going to be making bows anytime soon. So we'll do you... F no, we'll do you five times. All right, so you're done. And Simon, you can start that immediately. So craft a spear. Actually, if I were to instead just draft an undraft, will you do it on your own? You will. Good. That way you can go to sleep when you're supposed to as well, because I haven't forced you to do that. So, Carter, did he ever get two rounds into here? 
We are only one of ten. Carter is hauling back both grains. Good. Don't see any other grains out there, and it would be good to have that in. So, yeah. 1900, there is still time. How are you looking? You are good for the night. Carter, when you're done, get one more round of scavenging in. That would be good. <clears throat> Rita is harvesting our sweet syrups. And because you ran out of cooking, we must have a decent supply. I'm looking in there. I'm seeing six. Let's look this way. Right there. So we have... We do not have the... Um, Pumpkin pies yet. Why is that? And what is with that music? That's the music, and if you could hopefully you can hear it, that played Awaiting Materials. That played right before our first attack. So to the first oh, we have played several days. We didn't we went several episodes before that happened, but I'm running a long episode. Ah so it's quite possible we have an attack coming next episode tomorrow for these guys anyway you are awaiting what click on you um grain and buttermelon we have both awaiting materials i'm a little confused there so awaiting materials I see that Rita is pretending not to hear Paulette's concern, so there's a little friction going on there, apparently. Was annoyed by Paulette, and she's still unrelaxed. Um, Simon, let's watch this. So you are making our first... It's called a spear. I'm going to play with the idea of a short sword or a long knife, but yeah, that works. And you are Simon... Interesting. You're not getting a plus 18 for doing what you enjoy. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. What do we have in the way of weapons right now? We have a laser pistol. Ooh. We do have a laser pistol. Okay. Rita, when you are done, you are going to equip the laser pistol. And what was the other thing? Uh, we're going to bed now. The pulse rifle. Let's save that one. Don't know if that's going to be super beneficial... Uh, although you could. All right, who would best be to do that? Let's, um, Paulette. Maybe you will stun them. So going to sleep. Unarmed, okay. And that the original scavenge? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so who am I, Paulette? You're going to equip the pulse rifle. And did this scavenge just happen right now? Where is Carter? He is scavenging. No, it didn't. So what's everyone up to right before we shut this down? So Simon's sleeping, Rita's sleeping, Paulette's sleeping. Okay. I asked Carter to do this. It is 2300 hours and he is hungry. Yeah, I think that bar will not be lost. Let's go ahead and let you do what you need to do. You can grab something to eat. And then you're going to head off to sleep. And I think we're at a stopping point. I'll work us through the night, maybe start at dawn. And and uh, yeah, we'll call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys. And I know an episode of Deja Vu, but we're doing it so much better this time. Yeah, catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.